Well, Guybrush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, Shorty? Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you! <laughs> That's a good one! Maybe I won't kill you right now. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Hello. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without my monocle. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. 
I hope I didn't lose it. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is, make anything you could name, but I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, oh, yuck. Leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! 
Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Hey, how old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. I'll just take a little. Guy Brush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. 
What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I can't dig that, Daddy. This is creepy feeling. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. I can't pick that up. Nice! It doesn't seem to stay closed. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f*** out of here! What are you doing in here again? Get 
Get out of my room! That'll work. What are you doing in here again? I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come! I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night! This is useless! You tell them I'll be back to pick it up! Or else. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now where was it? 
Ah, here it comes. brought me any more ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! Oh, how are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug! I command you to give me back my money and leave this island! Ha! I already spent all your money! Oh, well, I command you to leave this island! Just you try and make. That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, 
It is alive! We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years! Now we can bring him back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs>